Welcome to your gold market update for today, the 17th of May 2022 with Mike Smith, your senior analyst for gold markets. Let's just have a look at what's come across the news today. Of course, overnight, we saw a relatively weak session after the previous day's gains with only the Dow eking out small gains. Nasdaq was down around 1.2%. However, US futures are slightly positive in early Asian trading and all Asian indices are trading to the upside at this early stage despite that weaker US lead. European futures are also pointing to a higher open at this point, but of course that may change by the time markets open this afternoon. On the FX front, US dollar index pulled back a little again. Essentially what it's done is retrace to the previous resistance it broke through last week. Gold bounces and it's trading around 1825 after two days of testing 1800. And oil continues to edge higher. It's now around 115 resistance on the Brent contract. Copper's at the key for 2011. Hasn't moved much since yesterday morning. And the VIX has dropped again and is below 30. So it seems as though the market is just a little calmer than perhaps it was last week. But course we have got further news coming out this week on the crypto front we've got bitcoin trading around that critical 30,000 level it did test it to the upside yesterday but failed to break through and is sitting almost bang smack on it at this stage i mentioned the data that could influence sentiment and we've got the rba minutes we've got uk employment this afternoon along with eurozone gdp and us retail sales Markets will be looking very, very closely at data today after yesterday's shock as to how much China data failed to meet expectations. So it could be a little bit of a choppy session if those numbers come in poorly. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that are catching our eye at the moment. We'll start by looking at the GB pound yen. And you can see there we talked about this yesterday. We had a sharp move up again following this bounce. This is almost complete in that it's level with the high of this candle here and we're seeing a slight move up in asia we're over that 159 at this stage if we look at the 30 minute chart you can see how we are up in asia but we started similar yesterday as you can see there first few bars were very positive and then we sold off a little subsequent to that china data obviously we haven't got any data to push that down at this stage so this is really worth keeping an eye on and as we said yesterday, we've got a target of 160 on this potentially in the short term. On the ASX, we talked AAC as a potential one to watch last week. When it was here, we had this retracement back to resistance, as we often get, around about 30% of the time. And now we've got this big move up. So those who took advantage of this move here will be doing relatively well now. And we suggested that $2 is potentially on the cards for this in the medium term. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.